welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today we're at Disneyland Resort. It is Christmas time. The holidays are here. It's one of our favorite time here at Disney. And we wanted to share with you some of our secrets to Disneyland Resort at Christmas. And also some must-sees and what yeah. we our favorites. Stuff that we like that we think you might enjoy too. Yeah. But some tips and tricks, some of these you will not know about. Come along with us on this adventure. Okay, so our first few stops today are actually not at Disneyland itself, but in Disneyland Resort. And to get there, you need to go across the pedestrian bridge, which is located right outside the Pixar parking garage. Head your way to downtown Disney. I know a pedestrian walkway isn't too exciting, but it's, it's one of our tips that we give for Disneyland is don't wait for the trams. That can take a while. Walk, walk it off. You're gonna be eating a lot today. So you may as well walk on this beautiful redesigned pedestrian walkway. Yeah, especially when it's 95 degrees in mid-November. Beautiful out here. First up, we're going to Trader Sam's, which is probably like the worst kept Disney secret of all time. But they have special holiday drinks here that we've never tried. And they actually decorate Trader Sam's for Christmas as well, which is pretty awesome. They're angry! Oh no! Trader Sam's is one of my favorite places in all of the Disneyland Resort. When I first started coming a lot and I first got my annual pass like 10 years ago, this was one of those, it truly was a secret gem then and I had a friend who brought me here and I felt really special for knowing about this place and I would always bring people here and show them. It's just, it's very intimate, it's such a cool vibe. The food is good, the drinks are good. It's, I mean, if you've never been here, what are you doing? For those of you who don't know, Trader Sam's is like a magical tiki bar. So some things you'll order on the menu will make the place come alive. Uh, and I think it's the best place to drink at Disneyland Resort. So they have three different holiday themed drinks. The drink I chose to get is the Peppermint Bark. So this comes with eight year old El Dorado rum, comes with peppermint schnapps, ginger syrup, lemon juice, cocoa real cream of coconut, mint leaves, pomegranate juice, and it's garnished with a candy cane. Now this is an impressive holiday drink. I love that peppermint rim right there and the mint. I actually don't even want to like drink out of the paper straw. I'm gonna drink out of that. Rum has like a little like it's hard to describe. It, it tastes all it tastes like a holiday drink. Maybe it's that peppermint taste. It does have a bit of the ginger. I would definitely recommend this. I this is so good. I mean, you can only I feel like you can only drink this around the holiday times. But if you're looking for a holiday drink at Disneyland Resort, this is it. Oh! The drink that I decided to get is called the Ginger Snaps. This one comes with Hendrix Gin, Canton Ginger Liqueur, Lemon Juice, Ginger Syrup, Cinnamon Syrup, and it's dusted with cinnamon and garnished with candied ginger. Well, this is definitely not what I was envisioning when I ordered that drink, but I feel very fancy now. Mmm. The smell is very overwhelming. Oh, this is good. It really does. You, Peter won't like this because he doesn't like ginger, but it tastes like literally like you're eating a piece of candied ginger. I like it. <laughs> Love it. That place never fails. I feel like it's been a while since we've been there, so feeling good, ready to conquer Disneyland. Before we go to Disneyland, we're gonna first make a stop at the Grand Californian Hotel for the best treat that you can't eat. Look at that tree. It might even be more impressive than the one at Disneyland, I think. I don't know about that. But it is, it's very nice. I love it in here. It's so calming and just such a great vibe. You got the piano player playing. At night you got the carolers caroling. And uh, you, got, you got that smell. 
Yeah, I my eyes are on the prize, my friend. We got a giant gingerbread house over here that we got to go look at. Spoiler alert. This smells so good, and I don't know if it's actually the gingerbread or some kind of smellalizer, but oh my gosh, look at Chippendale. What are they made out of? They usually have a card telling you what this is made out of. In previous years, it's been made out of over 500 pounds of gingerbread. I want to eat this entire thing. Do you think that's possible? Do you think I'd get in trouble? Hey, what? You? what do we think? <laughs> Should I try? So honestly, it's not a gingerbread house. It's a gingerbread hotel. Yeah. It's a recreation <laughs> of this hotel. You know what they should do is like the day after Christmas, they should have a day where pe people just come and buy pieces of this and eat it. I'd do that, except I'm afraid maybe it might be like glued together with actual glue. Or do you think it, Do you think there's no glue and it's all frosting? Has to be all frosting. That would be, that would be cheating. It needs to be all frosting. So our third tip for today is here, right next to the gingerbread house, they have a stand where you can get chocolate milk or milk and you can get it in a cookie cup with peppermint a peppermint rim you could also get an alcoholic shot but we're just gonna get i think chocolate milk yeah we're gonna be good we already had two drinks from trader sam's so uh let's do this every year i want to get this and t this is finally the year this was eight dollars with the milk but if you were to get alcohol it's fifteen dollars bottoms up my friends mm. it makes the chocolate milk kind of pepperminty Ooh, it's lined with chocolate on the inside. This is awesome. This is so cool. Such a great idea. Fun for the whole family. Wait, can I have a bite? Okay, sure, you could have some. <laughs> That's actually not peppermint there. That's actually just like sprinkles. Oh, they're peppermint sprinkles. It is peppermint. <laughs> it's good. It's a cookie with chocolate. Is it yeah. worth $8? I don't know, I didn't get to drink it, so you tell me. <laughs> hey, give it back. Not the easiest cookie to, to eat, but here you go. So another thing we bought at that stand is peppermint bark. I'm a, I love peppermint bark. Everything here at Disneyland Resort is made, at, is baked at Disneyland Resort, so I'm very interested to try this. This is Christmas. This right here, this is Christmas. For nine bucks, you can get Christmas in your mouth. This is melt in your mouth delicious. That white chocolate is very smooth. I wish there's a little bit more candy cane pieces on top, but besides that, it's really, really good. We made it inside. That's another little tip. If you're staying, or if you're in the Grand Californian, there's an entrance right into DCA. I love all the decorations around Disney California Adventure Park, and especially around Grizzly Peak. There's a lot of uh, fun decorations for the holidays. Next up on the list, we're going to the Redwood Creek Challenge Trail, which is an awesome spot if you've never been. But Santa is there. Not a lot of people know that that's where you could go and get your picture taken with Santa. Right across from the Grizzly River Run, they have like these reefs with these like red ribbons and the ribbons are made out of boat paddles. Pretty cool. They have the normal map for this little area back here, but it has all the spots where all the different stuff is. Found Chippendale. They're back by the boulder bears. And it looks like Santa's right up towards the front. So the line to meet Santa is actually pretty long. Get here early. I guess it's not as much of a secret as I thought. The line actually, all things considered, doesn't seem too terribly long. We've just got so much stuff that we're trying to see today that I think we're gonna go ahead and skip it. But it's good to know that he's back here. There's Santa! I know him! Santa! <laughs> they actually have converted one of the rope bridges into Jingle Bridge, which actually just has bells below the, the rope bridge and when you walk across it, Jingle Bells plays. I mean, well, the bells ring. We are now entering Cars Land from the side entrance to see all the cool decorations that they have there. I honestly think the side entrance is the best entrance to enter Cars Land because you go through that gate and you're transformed into the world of cars. I feel like Cars Land really does it right for the holidays. It's awesome during Halloween and it's also just as awesome during Christmas. 
All the decorations are made up of like car parts, so like tires, hubcaps, all that fun stuff. It's really, really cool to see, and it looks even better at night, honestly, but it's still cool in the daytime. What I love about the decorations here is obviously they're car themes, but they're also like meant to feel very retro, like 50s, 60s. And they also have like vintage Christmas music playing on the loudspeakers. It just really goes with the feel here. I love how they do this for all the holidays. They have like these parody movies that are set in the car's world. Oh look, it's snowy. And one of the things I love is the taglines on these posters. The Santa clutch. With Santa car gone, he'll do it in a clutch. Coolant runnings. One dream, four forklifts, 20 below zero. Snowy bringing a winter wonderland to the desert. I was just admiring this Christmas tree. What's on the top? Is that a spark plug as a star? Yep. <laughs> I don't even know how I know that. I know nothing about cars. Very creative. It should also be noted that of all of Disney California Adventure, the only holiday themed rides are actually in Cars Land. So Mater's Jingle Jamboree and Luigi's, which basically they just play holiday versions of the songs, but it's worth checking out. Not so much a secret, but a quick tip. There is a parade, if you want to call it that. It's probably the quickest parade in the world. It's Mickey's <laughs> Happy Holidays Parade. It's yeah. more of a cavalcade of characters. And yeah. you, you don't have to show up early. You can just like come and get to the side of the road as they're coming by and you get a, a nice uh, grouping of characters to say hello to. Disneyland Resort is filled with Christmas celebrations everywhere. There's Christmas trees, there's Christmas lights. Where is the love for our Jewish friends? You can find it at Julius Katz and Sons right on Buena Vista Street. If you look in the front window, you'll see a bunch of Hanukkah decorations from uh, dreidels to menorahs to festive treats. Dreidel, 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 I made you out of clay. Uh, I don't know the rest of the words. Happy Hanukkah to you. No? <laughs> We're now at Disneyland. Check out some cool things here. Uh, Disneyland is filled with lines. You gotta wait for, uh, wait for anything. You gotta stand in a line. Uh, one tip we have for you is if you go to the town square, if you go there from 3.30 to 5, you can catch three things in that time. You can catch the parade at 3.30, which is your favorite parade. Spoiler alert, best parade ever. Go on. 4.30, you can catch the flag retreat. And at five o'clock, you can catch the tree lighting. So three things in an hour and a half. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. You yeah. got it done. You got some entertainment. You got some relaxation before you eat some food and do some rides. Some people love Main Street. Some people love Buena Vista Street. At night, I think there's nothing better than It's a Small World. When it's lit up for the holidays, it just looks amazing. Also on It's a Small World, they have a projection show. It's only a few minutes long, and it plays every half an hour. So check it out if you can. like what you're seeing here on this channel please subscribe it would mean so much it really does help our channel like our video all that good stuff thanks for watching everybody we'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure, adventure.